My history with high cholesterol started in my mid-20s, and there was a free health screening. My cholesterol was close to 300, but it didn't hit me that it was actually something that I could have been born with. I just thought that it's something that you get when you're older. So when I had Claire, we went to her pediatrician for her newborn intake appointment, and they had us fill out a family history. And in that family history, I said that I have high cholesterol, and I noted that my father has high cholesterol. So at her two-year wellness visit, Claire's pediatrician said that she wanted to take a lipid panel. I got the call a few days later from her pediatrician that she did, in fact, have high cholesterol, and it was like around 350, and I wanted to cry. Um, I didn't, I didn't know what to do, I felt lost, I felt guilty, I felt sad, I felt every range of emotion, and she said, you know, it's familial hypercholesterolemia, there's a name for it. It's worrisome that, you know, both my wife and daughter um, have FH, but I feel like we're in a, in a position where both Kristen and and Claire are gonna get the care that is needed to help keep them healthy. We owe so much to my daughter's pediatrician, not only for Claire, but for my health, because I wasn't on a statin. If I have extended family that's now being treated for FH. She not only made Claire's life better, but she improved my entire family's health. We want to teach Claire about what it means to be healthy. We try to incorporate her into our grocery shopping, try to steer her away from donuts and brownies and toward fruits and vegetables uh, as much as we can. I've gone to my doctor and I've gotten on a statin, but I think a lot of mothers will relate to the fact that we are always at the bottom of the list. Like we want to take care of our family, our house, our jobs, our children, everything else. And I now have to push myself up to the top of that list because I have to be here for Claire. I know once Claire knows all the things that Kristen's doing and will continue to do to help raise awareness about FH. I know she'll be really proud of her mom. The FH Foundation has given me so much support, um, both through the online forums, talking to them on the phone, connecting me with doctors, going to the advocacy training. Moving forward now that we have this FH diagnosis and with the support of the FH Foundation, I actually don't have a lot of concerns about Claire's health and her cholesterol will be managed.